Good morning. Welcome to a new month. And welcome to an old problem. My vehicle won't start. So right now I'm waiting for the guy from our shop to come over with the jump box and everything because boss is back in town and she will need the other vehicle to go do something. Whatever. Ah, whew. It's always always fun to have this on a Monday morning, which it just seems like this vehicle just doesn't, and it's making a weird clicking noise. Not sure what that is. Keys are not in it. <laughs> the only set of keys that we have. But anyway, oh, I think my guy's here, so I'll have to talk to you in a little bit. Well, all right, at least it was pretty easy. It's just the battery. Uh, he, guy from the shop, he took his tester and it was only given like 7.1 volts, which obviously it's well, supposed to be a 12 volt battery. Um, and then he put his uh, jump box on there and fired right up. So, needs a new battery, which isn't the worst of things. It's just our vehicle budget, I have been informed, is basically nothing. And we're just going to have to keep fixing this wonderful piece of machinery. Anyway, so make the kid transfer tonight. I've had them for nearly two weeks straight, and it's been great. But I I am looking forward to a break. You know, I, I need to do some deep cleaning uh, of the apartment and definitely need to vacuum and stuff. I, I actually got quite a bit done yesterday. You know, showed showed my bedroom, but um, you know, got dishes done and things like that. But uh, get everything picked up and clean tonight. Need to clean my bathroom, my sink, my toilet, and all that. I might need to trim this just a bit more. I don't know. I like keeping it long over the winter just because it gives me that little sense of comfort of my built-in scarf. My neck doesn't get cold. Ah, I'm going to have to keep this thing running today, that is for sure. There was actually a little more corrosion on one of the battery terminals than what there was last week when I took the, took a look at it. So I'm not sure where that's coming from, but hopefully we're going to get a battery replaced this week. All right. Well, I think that's about all I got for this morning. I'm feeling good, feeling happy. And we're, as always, moving forward. Got my mud boots on because it's time to... Plain mud. Just a backfill inspection, but it's about the only thing I got interesting going on today, as as far as work is concerned. But uh, yeah, this one's fine. <laughs> Do want to get some some steps in? Still working on that that weight loss goal. Want to get back down under 200? Yeah, this is pretty standard. Ooh, okay. I don't want to walk back there. <laughs> I don't, okay, we're going to walk back around. <laughs> you know, talking about weight loss and, and getting my exercise in and all that really makes it difficult to do the intermittent fasting thing of, of not eating during the morning, uh, you know, especially because I throw on YouTube to listen to um, during my drives, and I happened to come across a Disney dining show, which they were talking about the best breakfasts on property, and it's like, okay, this... This is making everything very tempting. Obviously, I can't get anything of that caliber right at the moment. But uh, anyway, so two years ago, it was our leaving day. Um, February 1st. You know, started out in Animal Kingdom Lodge. Uh, I assume we got breakfast. I don't Going back on the pictures, it's, it's you know, it jogs some of the memories, but not, not all of them, obviously. Uh, but then we checked out of the hotel. Well, always a great time for the battery to die. Anyway, uh, part of the Magical Express, um, which will be ending, uh, was that I didn't have to deal with my luggage. You know, I had to check it in in Kansas City. I had it. They delivered it to the room. You know, I was able to use it there. Packed it up. Took it down to the lobby. And they took care of it. Didn't have to do anything with it until the baggage claim back in Kansas City. So we checked out of the hotel, 
and then we uh, headed over to the Magic Kingdom. Had a had a wonderful, wonderful day. Uh, I have some awesome pictures which I'll sprinkle in through here. I met one of the country bears, and uh, I don't know exactly what they were doing, but they had to do like a task, and so I was right by one of the press penny machines. So I did. We did the press penny thing and got my picture with. I think it's liver lips. I feel bad. I've been to the Magic Kingdom five times and have yet to see the country bears. I just don't know why we didn't see it. But uh, I think I ended up giving the press pennies to the country bear. I could be wrong. But uh, I actually have one of my best fo Disney photos that I've ever taken. And it was like completely unintentional. Uh, I was taking pictures of a parade, but I'll sprinkle it in here. And then if you zoom in, especially and like crop it up like this, it, I, I still think it's one of my best photos I've ever taken. So I, I really enjoyed that. Um, of course that wasn't until like I got home that I realized how, how awesome that picture was, you know, and it's of somebody's kids don't know who they are. I wasn't, that wasn't what I was focusing on at the time, but I just, I think it's, it's a really cool photo. But anyway, yeah, I really want uh, to go to Garden Grill and get a cinnamon roll because that's what they were talking about in the Disney dining show. <laughs> that's not happening for a while, but I think that's about all I got for right now. If I figure out something later, I'll bring it back. So anyway, let's keep moving forward. Well, all right, it's Monday, February 1st. Already talked to you, but anyway. Now, for the first time in nearly two weeks, I am in an empty apartment. I still got Chewy. But, uh, just had a nice, long conversation with my girlfriend, and it was, it's very good. I like our dynamic with each other, so I'm feeling feeling very positive about that. So going back to talking about Disney World, uh, that first trip was definitely a good learning experience. Um, learned what we could do, what we couldn't do, limitations of 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 the kids and the absolute importance of taking a midday nap. Ooh. Number one tip, if you have kids and going to Disney World, make time to go take naps. I would say that's like one of the biggest benefits to staying on Walt Disney World property. Which right now they're making it, making quite the case to not stay on property. But the nap, the midday naps would be, would be one of the big ones. Uh, you know, we, we didn't do a lot of the dining and all that stuff. Of course, I hadn't binge-watched all the Disney vloggers and information channels and, and everything like that. You know, I, I still look at DVC contracts, uh, like resale contracts, knowing that I, I can't afford it. And, like, even tonight, I, I went and did the calculation of how much a contract would be over its lifetime uh, for Animal Kingdom Lodge because those expire in 2057 so it has 36 years uh, left on the contract and I think it was like a 200 point contract even with the dues as they are right now which they would pretty much only go up. Um, and it ended up being like $80,000 for the life of the contract when you factor in the price of it and then the dues and it's Oi! Oi! Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if I do any DVC, I think it's just going to be you know, renting points. Um, I realize that, you know, the, the cost of, of the contract, the initial price of the contract is only going to go up as well. Uh, so at least you would get that initial investment, you know, at, at a fixed fixed rate, basically. But, Wow. But it's already almost nine o'clock. 
I wanted to do some clean. I did I did a little bit of like dish work and I cleaned off the table and stuff. I need to do a lot of sweeping and vacuuming. I don't think that's happening tonight. Um, so I think tomorrow I may go get a haircut because this is getting kind of shaggy. But with that, I'm going to edit this video. Probably just either lay on the couch and watch some TV or just straight up go to bed. But anyway, have a good night. Let's keep moving forward.